I'm going to preface this entire video by saying I only have about 5 hours so far, and these are first impressions definitely willing to change. So far, Limbus Company has been good to me. Granted, that is only with a very small amount of playtime, but there's definitely good in here. It's important to note that I went into this game with an extremely negative mindset. I was one of the people who thought this game would be a cash grab gacha and nothing more. But I'm happy to say that so far, I'm pleasantly surprised. The microtransactions are priced a bit over average as far as I can tell, but you do get about 30 euro or dollars worth of starting currency that you can roll with. I rolled 10 times on the welcome banner and I got the exact mouse identity that I wanted, so to me it's fair enough, but maybe I did just get lucky. To be fair, the game does tell you the exact rates at which you get identities per roll and per 10 rolls in the information box for each banner, so if that does help anyone or soothe any worries, there you go. It does still feel pretty heavily paid to win, especially for the fact that you have to roll for egos. Egos in this game are, work kinda similar to how they do in Runa, where they're just big one-time attacks. And they are extremely powerful and come with really cool animations, which I'll get to later, but the fact that you have to roll for them really sours my taste. On the topic of gacha, I just want to mention the art. It has improved tremendously from the already damn good art that was in Runa. The cutscenes look pretty damn spectacular, and as someone who finds it very hard to make Runa cutscenes look more action-packed and vibrant for memes and the such, I appreciate the movement and little character touches that they've added to the otherwise still mannequins. Also, I'm scared of how human the chibis are getting each game, please slow down Project Move. I'm not going to talk about the story to avoid spoilers, but it's fine so far. I like the character interactions, kinda wish they explained more stuff, but I'm sure I'll learn whatever I want later on. I also stopped reading Leviathan after like volume 6, so maybe that explains it. But how about the main meat and gravy? The combat is basically just water down Runa. If you've played Runa, you've played a more in-depth version of Limbus. But I can forgive it a little since it is a mobile game. However, I can't forgive the over-cluttered HUD. It makes stuff really hard to follow and if I hadn't played Runa before, I'd be fairly damn lost. Enemies still have weaknesses to all the different types of attacks in this game and I don't know why they got rid of the glowing version that was seen in Runa, but is what it is. Hopefully they'll add it later in a future update, but I highly doubt that's on their to-do list. Not to mention that whatever this is in the tutorial was in Korean, but it fixed itself afterwards, so it's whatever. I do enjoy the fact that there's a bit more of a team-based approach compared to Rune as one build rules all deal, but I can also see it being really annoying later on if one identity on your team sucks and drags the whole thing down. But what really gets my appreciation is the cinematic improvements to the combat. I tried and tried my hardest to make Runa gameplay look hyper stylish in previous videos. That's because a large majority of Runa battles visually just look stale and kinda lifeless at times, but words cannot describe how grateful I am for the improvements to Limbus's visuals. Firstly, everyone has idle animations now, small but highly appreciated. And secondly, whatever the hell these black cinematic bars are, they're gonna help so damn much in future projects and they also just look really cool. I love how sometimes, kinda rare though, that it goes diagonal to emphasize just how hard your sinners are hitting. And look how animated the background is now, it's not just two or three PNGs slapped together, it's a proper foreground and background that you can move very freely around. You can even tilt the camera in two different ways, man it's so good. As I mentioned before, all the sinners have ego too that can be used and triggers a small little cutscene. I can tell I'm gonna have a lot of fun editing this in the future. And finally, the most important part of all, the music. Is the music any good? You already fucking know it is. Project Moon will nearly always miss on something, but when it comes to the music, they have hit a goddamn hat trick with this franchise. There's a massive emphasis on Vaporwave and the like, which makes me feel nostalgic for something I'm not even nostalgic for. Hopefully now people will take the cutscene music from Ruina more seriously now that Limbuses are bops. And that battle music too. Mmm, top notch. So yeah, Limbus is good so far. Can't say how good it will fare in the long run and the overwhelming feeling of gacha still lingers. My thoughts are still due to change by the end of the game, but it's free, so if you're still on the fence, give it a go. And uh, feel free to drop me some foul stars and at me on Twitter. Subscribe for more Limbus, KK, love you, bye!